A regular round of the US-Russia conference Fort Ross Dialogue was held in May 2017. Politicians, representatives of the expert community and the largest companies of both countries met again to discuss the ways to develop cooperation and overcome the contradictions between the two countries. We continue to grow this network of partnerships, of human partnerships, that bridge the physical and the political distance between our countries. Dialogue Fort Ross is фермент, как э, химический элемент, позволяющий некоторым реакциям происходить быстрее. Это важно. Общественно-политические контакты и культурные связи всегда традиционно помогают политикам и дипломатам смотреть правильнее на многие вещи. For the first time, the dialogue changed its location. Contrary to the tradition of meeting in the US, this time the US colleagues were given a warm Russian welcome. In order to make the dialogue truly bilateral, Transnet invited to hold the forum in Russia in the city of Pskov. Это знаковое событие стало результатом больших и длительных усилий как российских, так и американских участников, и что особенно важно, результатом нашего единодушия, настроя на плодотворную и конструктивную совместную работу. So after five years of the Fort Ross Dialogue in California, in the U.S., hosted by the Fort Ross Conservancy with Sarah Swidler and Jip Kelly, we are now hosting an event in Skov in, and uh, the historic Izborz Fortress in uh, Russia. I also want to express my uh, special gratitude to Mr. Tokarev, the president of Transneft, who are the principal sponsors and organizers of the event today. It is no coincidence that the choice of the organizers fell on Skov. The city is the heart of the ancient Russian state and it truly manages to preserve the atmosphere and identity today. And what is of greater importance, in the vicinity lies the Izborsk Museum Reserve, the city museum of Fort Ross. Today, cultural and historical space of Izborsk will get a new international measurement. It will become a platform for development and expansion of the Russian-American dialogue. The conference program was divided into two days. The first part was devoted to cultural cooperation. The panel discussion towards each other, Russian trailblazers and the American pioneers, became a platform for the exchange of experience between representatives of Russian and American museums. In addition to the traditional problems of interaction with state authorities and introduction of modern technologies, the participants raised an unpopular but very important topic how to preserve the heritage of small museums and what role do they play in the life of society. I think it's wonderful that Hermitage and Russian Museum and Pushkin Museum and all these other you know, ones that are so well known get support, but it's the smaller ones because not everything is in Moscow or St. Petersburg and I think the museums in these smaller communities have a need to serve their constituents. Век технократии нельзя забывать и каких-то духовных началах. А хранителями этих вот начал, этих культурных корней являются не только какие-то большие, важные, красивые музеи, но и большинство очень мелких, которые находятся в небольших городах, краеведческие музеи, которые связаны так или иначе с историей города, региона, территории. Понятно, что помочь Эрмитажу стоит очередь или там большому театру, а помочь малому музею такой очереди нет. И именно поэтому внимание к учреждениям культуры, которые работают в небольших городах или даже в больших селах, это очень важно. On the second day of the forum, the attention of the participants was focused on the topic of US-Russia's interaction in the field of energy and political issues. Scenarios for the development of the world's energy sector, promising models of world economic growth, as well as the influence of political factors on economic cooperation were the main topics. Participants analyzed Russian and American national energy policies and regulatory features in this area. The topic of bilateral relations was not avoided. There is a unanimous opinion that such communication allows the development of cooperation despite political differences between the countries. I think this dialogue brings together three dimensions of Russian-American relations which are not normally covered culture, education, uh, and business. And I think, you know, Transneft's role uh, with Chevron and its other uh, international partners uh, is an important story uh, that needs to be told. 
The host prepared a cultural program that introduced the life and history of the Pskov region to the participants. The guests visited the museum estate of Seto in the village of Segova. Representatives of the ancient Finno-Ugrarian people introduced to the guests the peculiarities of their life and traditions, and of course, they were treated to national cuisine and listened to folk songs. The next destination was the Izbors Fortress, which is located in the same named sister museum of Fort Ross. Even the rain could not stop the tour via the ancient structure. I'm so pleased that this conference is going on and um, I think I'm learning a lot about museums that I didn't know about here and um, I hope that the Russians are learning more about our museum system. Talking of cultural events like this one bring us together and uh, people in, in informal settings have a chance to get to know each other and to talk about problems. Nobody underestimates the problems that exist, uh, but at the same time, uh, we think it's important to have people meet informally to, to talk about those problems, but to talk about all of the common things we have too. There's a lot of good things in our relationship. I think the really bad thing about the 20th century was the isolation uh, Russia and the United States. I thought that was a very unnatural uh, state and it's one that needed to be corrected. And I hope, I think that the business to business dialogue during this very tense geopolitical time is playing an important role in bringing our countries together and uh, helping mutual understanding. The two-day forum in Pskov resulted in the decision to meet more often. Now, the dialogue will be held twice a year, not only in the US but also in Russia. After all, today, such meetings as the Fort Ross Dialogue are doubly valuable. The forum proved once again the realities of contemporary politics are changing, but the aspiration of the expert communities of the two countries to understand and cooperate is invariable. <laughs>